Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Plays, and we're looking at another Tier 6 American Premium Aircraft, the A26B. The A26B is going to be a little bit different than any of the American bombers you've come up across before, and partially because this was the first and only American bomber in the game at one point. A premium aircraft, there just wasn't anything else available. But now it looks like we're supposedly supposed to be getting a lot more American bombers. This is going to be a good base as a crew trainer. It does have a tail gunner position as well as a pilot. And this is an attack aircraft. Why? Well, you see right there, we've got 650 cal machine guns in the nose. Now, they've kind of got away from using attack aircraft in the American inventory during World War II, but this did have its place and after world war ii we kept this in service for quite a while it was actually used in korea it was used in a lot of counterinsurgency campaigns and this was heavily modified throughout the years in fact there was one variant where instead of having the 650 cals in the nose they actually had a set of 850 cals in the nose stacked two by four going vertically all the way up the nose and there was even another variation of it that incorporated gun Gun pods underneath the wings, two 50 cal machine gun gun pods per pod, two per wing, that's a total of eight additional machine guns. So theoretically you could have 16 50 cal machine guns in the forward hemisphere, excluding the four facing to the rear. Now the four facing to the rear are still controlled by one gunner and he just controls them based on whether or not you're in the upper or lower hemisphere of the aircraft. But an interesting note about this tail gunner is that instead of just being able to fire off to 90 degrees off the wing, it can actually fire slightly ahead of itself, which allows you to be able to really get your guns on target a lot quicker as you're passing by an enemy. In addition to that, having 650 cals in the nose means that if the enemy decides that they're going to uh, take a bomber up to high altitude and there's nobody around to counter it you can counter that bomber or in some instances I have taken aircraft out with the forward firing forward firing machine guns with this aircraft like against a heavy that was on low health I'm gonna try to do that in this video but it can be problematic and I may put myself in a bad spot trying to get that but we're coming through doing our traditional bombing run here. We're just dropping both of those on that one target, and now I'm hopping in the tail gunner. Uh, this thing does not fare well alone, and the engines tend to get knocked out fairly easily. Uh, I'm probably going to have to reconfigure some of the modules I have on the airframe uh, to kind of maximize the engine survivability i kind of went for a bit of a speed build with this aircraft because i wanted to be able to use it as an attacker to a certain extent or at least be able to use the forward firing weapons to kind of showcase the capability but hindsight being what it is you're probably better off going with the uh, engine protection and then probably just going for straight reload on the munitions oddly enough if you use the aerodynamic pylons on the section that you can use for increase for the bomb arm armament or air to ground armament it'll actually still take effect even though i don't have external armament on this airframe i don't know if that's a glitch or just a mislabeling in the uh, equipment section but yeah so we're heading over to this mining plant we could probably afford to drop a little bit lower here but uh, being at altitude against all of this AA can be dangerous, so I'm kind of doing a little bit of a side-to-side. -side. And sure, I'm going to take some damage here, but I want to get these bombs off on target. We overshot just a little bit there, and of course, a heavy's here. We got an XP-77 vectoring in on us. Try to get those guns on them. You can see how far off the wing we're able to shoot with these tail gunner arrangement. They really do have some great fields of fire on them lost the gunner there this gunner does have defensive fire perk on him so we are able to increase our survivability against the incoming fire of that xp-77 just by causing damage and you saw that we were able to knock out his wing his pilot and his engine which allowed us to be able to get away from that threat now what i probably should be doing is avoiding that target altogether instead of coming in on him but i see that he's no longer chasing us and he's vectoring in on one of our bombers a p2 and i would like to be able to help him out 
So I'm going to gun the throttle and see if maybe I can showcase some of the gun capability. Knowing I'm not going to catch up to him, I was looking at an opportunity to drop some munitions. Especially since I've confirmed that he's no longer on me. Dropping a double stack on there, and that might not be enough to get it, but with a 30 second reload, not a big deal. I was hoping the P2 would have survived just a little bit longer to allow me to be able to get on this XP75, but unfortunately that isn't the case, and there's already another heavy here, and it's a P38J. There's no chance for us to survive this one, and unfortunately we die inside the zone. We are behind on points right now. I would really like to catch back up. We haven't seen much of the enemy players. One's in a 109 and one is in a Spitfire, but I have a feeling they're working together. Fortunately, our team was able to secure the middle, and now I'm going to respawn at the airfield and work my way towards the mining plant again. But there are some aircraft attacking and i want to make sure that we can keep this site so low health aircraft yes please just get those machine guns on target they do have a tendency to spread and we have no equipment on here increasing the accuracy of these machine guns so unlike a fighter that can just get those guns on target we're going to find ourselves struggling and since this is not a fighter aircraft of any kind you don't have the ability to zoom into forward gun sight mode unfortunately so we're just struggling to get eyes on can i get him level off finally so killed two aircraft here with just a forward gun armament we're going to hammer down on the throttle and even at lower altitudes we're able to get over 300 miles an hour which is pretty good for tier 3 and allows us to kind of do a bit of a low altitude maneuver here. We took out the engine on that XP-75 and hopefully that'll help our team out a little bit. We do have some other aircraft in the zone which is going to be helpful for us. I'm getting into the gun sight mode here and we're slamming on the brakes that way I can actually see the reticle underneath me. And we're just going to drop all of our munitions here. And we got the zone before my bombs even hit. We're going to drop what's left and we're going to try going for a reload. We had both mining facilities and I thought that we were going to be in good shape, but they still retain two zones. This may be enough to be able to win still, but I would like to see if we can lock this up a little bit better by going after another zone, possibly retaking the mining plant over by our spawn. Heading in towards the middle, just going to be a bit of a fur ball here. I'm looking to see if any of these aircraft are vectoring onto our tail. Doesn't look like anybody's making the attempt. I'm getting pinged to the center of the map by our friendly P-47. I do see there's quite a few aircraft up here that are going after our bombers. I know we can't afford to lose this site. There's that P-38J that got us last time. Let's get a little bit of revenge on him. And now we do have a tornado in the forward hemisphere that is going after our P-40. We just knocked him out, so that's going to be a total of three aircraft taken out from forward hemisphere guns. Good damage on the XP-75 there. That is a player in the BF-109 circling with our... Yak-3. The Yak-3 should be winning the turning fight. If I were the 109G, I would have gone into the vertical and went for a climb. I would have easily been able to outpace the Yak-3 and then come back at a time of my choosing. We're going to drop the whole load of bombs here. Trying to slow down as much as possible. Would have been better to have slowed down earlier because the structures on the early part of the site are the ones that are a little bit harder to take out. The smokestacks go down fairly easily. Trying to get these guns on target to help out with the BF-109G and we barely won that by the skin of our teeth. So a really good fight. Let's go ahead and get to the hangar and finish up the review. All right, so not a bad match. I'd like to think that we made some interesting maneuvers there enough to kind of highlight the multitude of different capabilities that the A26 has, aside from just being a bomber. Uh, we were top scorer on the team, a relatively close battle, and I see we got do-da and do-do here. So I'm willing 
to bet that they know each other. So, uh, you know, good match to you guys. It looked like you were working together. Um, yeah, it's a weird plane in the sense that it is an attack aircraft, technically. Uh, the way that they have it in-game is very much in kind of the bomber configuration, I guess. Uh, although their true bomber configuration would be that this... Uh, right hand side of the nose from the cockpit perspective or left hand side looking at it from the front would actually be like a glass cockpit in fact i think they replaced the whole nose with a bombardier cockpit that allowed a bombardier in the nose to be able to at more accurately drop the uh, bomb load uh, but yeah this is the a26 it was the only bomber in the game and now there are multiple American bombers, so this is a good crew trainer for those other bombers. As you can see, I got my B-17G crew in here, and with the promise of more American bombers coming in the future, then it looks like we've got more crew training available with this really interesting aircraft. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.